Does the snake want to go see it? Yes, I think it does. <laughs> really? Nah, no, not really. Um, why? Uh, there was just there was there's some little tiny bits of humour and life to it that the other one, that's the previous one, like was a little to me it felt a little more like Reservoir Dogs in its attempt, but um, I'm not sure I'm not sure I would, but it's more likely to. Uh, no, because there was just that sense of dread and foreboding that it was all going to go wrong. And that yeah. there wasn't going to be happy. There was a real sense of jeopardy. Obviously, there was going to yeah. be. It had, they had seven minutes, and they were, it's going to be. The plot was going to wind down in that seven minutes, so you're going to be really on the edge of your seat. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the soundtrack? Um, it almost passed me by. Yeah, I was going to say it was a bit nondescript. Um, and costumes, characters. What do you take from it? Well, the masks are rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were they were a lot a bit more like Reservoir Dogs. They're a lot more kind of sweaty and greasy and real than the, than the second one, which yeah. is all kind of high tech and. And uh, as for the plot, what do you think the plot centres around? I think it's well the heist and it going wrong, but the whole the whole story about the guy and his girlfriend and how they were trying to make a better life, but obviously having to do it through crime. What rate would you give this film? 15. I think probably is 15, yeah. Okay, and the target audience? Young, adolescents, uh, sort of <laughs> teenagers, upwards. Specific numbers? Well, 15 up, 14, 15 up. Two, up to what? 30-ish. Yeah.